Hello again, my happy friends. Seems like an age since I last spoke to you all, but it's that time again, out chasing these carp again. It's the middle of January, so fingers crossed all goes to plan. You just never know, do you, this time of year. It's pouring down with rain, not too cold at the moment, but the forecast's a bit dire for tomorrow and the day after, so we've had a really mild spell, which I've missed due to work, and there's goddamn chest infection that I've, I think I'm finally getting over. So, without further ado, I think we better hit the road. I've already been to Lidl and got all stocked up at the old Paninis. I don't know if you can see that through there, yep. So, nothing left to do now other than the usual two and a half, three hour drive. And I'll see you all at the other end. Cheers for now. Turned quite chilly now as well, but not to worry, I was in with a chance. The rain's supposed to stop tomorrow, but it's supposed to get even colder tomorrow as well, so happy days. Who loves a bit of winter carping? But it's to be expected. Main thing is, rods are out, house is up, and we're all sorted. So I'll show you the lake quickly. It's a new lake for us. I don't know well you can see it, see it's in the rain from the bivvy. I don't want to go outside with my camera, get it all soaked and wet. Nice little lake. Supposed to be plenty of uh, singles, doubles, twenties, and maybe one or two thirties at the right time of year. It's done one fish so far this year, as far as I'm aware. But, like I say, hopefully they're going to be hungry for this trip. And we'll just see how it goes. Right, I'll leave it there for now, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Cheers. Well, as you may be able to hear, it's still raining, so I can't get it out and about and show you much as of yet. Because like I say, I don't want to go outside in the rain with the camera. Not worth getting it wet. So, quick run down the rigs wise. New water, don't know what works. So I'm trying three different rigs with three different baits and see if they favour any particular presentation or any particular bait. I know in the past, in here, people have done well on uh, RG baits, vital lac, so obviously I brought some vital lac. One rod's got a vital lac pop-up on, on the old Ronnie rig, which I'll show you later on. Got some new ones off uh, G Precision hooks to show you. One rod's got a vital lac wafter on I do I do like a wafter I must admit I think it gives a really good presentation of wafter especially this time of year when there's loads of uh, leaves on the bottom and stuff and it just hopefully just flutters down nice and just lays on the top of all that any fish comes in sucking up any freebies hopefully it'll just go straight in the back of its mouth and game on and on the other rod I've gone for the old faithful bright yellow pop-up which a lot of people favour in the winter and I've gone for RG baits again of course C 
7 till 11s. Oh, these bad boys are class. Really different. Like a smoky. Smoke. They yeah, smell smoky. Syrupy type smell. Well, you can see them in there. That's the pop ups. The wafters I'm using, I do favour a barrel. I do like a barrel wafter. Makes it a bit more awkward for the fish to suck and blow out, I think. It, it, it like tumbles rather than just goes in and out like that, if you like, if that makes sense. A wafter hopefully will go in, cause the hook to turn and spin and go in, hopefully. As it tries to blow it out, it'll get caught on top of its mouth and hopefully hook it again, whichever. Whereas with a round bait, just a fairly straightforward suck in and blow out. So that's the theory of it. If it works, it's another thing. But we'll keep at them. Loads of time left yet. And I'll keep you updated. Cheers for now. Hallelujah. The rain's finally stopped. Wind's dropped a lot. Happy days. All we need now is a fish. Let's go down by the rods. Have a quick look around the lake. I'll show you what's what. This is what we've got to play with this trip. Not a bad size for a, a winter water. You don't want them too big. Hopefully the fish aren't too far away when they're only fairly small lakes like this. It is quite a deep lake, mind. We can find 10, 12 foot in plenty of places. There's lots of small, like, little humps, if you like, with weed and gravel on all over the lake as well, which is a bit bizarre. Never come across that before. It's normally bars and that sort of thing, but it's, all, it's just all humps and bumps, which is a bit odd. But, carp are out there, that's the main thing, so just got to try and tempt one now. Looks ideal for it at the moment. is isn't too cold. Like I say, the wind's dropped. Rain's gone, so four o'clock, it's almost time for tea. Coming in dark zone as well, so these long dark winter nights, which we all know about. Nothing we can do about that though, I'm afraid. Nothing we can do about that. It's one of them things. House is up. Cars only parked there, nice and close, so that's ideal. Early packed down again on the morning when I leave in. That'll be Friday morning. Try and beat the traffic on the A1. It's always busy, line, but see how it goes. Fingers crossed, as per usual. As long as you've got a bait in the water, you're halfway there, aren't you? Just needing to pick one up now. So, I'm going to have a quick cup of tea and then it'll be time for me main tea I think see what delights are in store for that okay then speak soon Well, it's that time again. Time for some tea. About to turn cold, mind. God, it doesn't have. Tonight's delight. Uh, a nice and simple, no preparation, just eat it. Chicken and bacon laid past the saddle. Saddle? Salad. These are really nice, I must admit these. I've had them before, they're really good. Obviously chicken, pasta, sweet corn, a uh, bit of ham in there, lettuce, usual stuff and cucumber, which I can't abide, but I just pick all them out, chuck them away. But other than that, really nice. One thing I forgot to mention, that I haven't mentioned yet, I rejoined the gym last year, middle of, de of December, I decided to go back to the gym again. I've done tons of training before in the past. I don't suppose you can tell that nowadays like, but I have done. <laughs> done all sorts of stuff. Karate, kickboxing, boxing, 
weight training for absolutely a year so big birthday year this year so I've decided to go back to the gym again try and get myself back in shape again the old bones are getting old muscle depletion and all that it's not good so as well as my salad I brought along some of my PhD diet way to mix up in my little mixer little protein bottle shake that up nice protein drink I'll be having two or three of them a day probably two because like you said it's a bit cold as well like so that's it yep that's my big news for 2019 I'm back in the gym get in there really looking forward to it like I said I've been going for about four weeks now I think something like that yeah four weeks started in the middle of uh, December middle of January now so yeah I'm a month in I can feel the difference already so it's all going to plan my diet's always been okay but obviously I have to try and get a bit better eat more protein that sort of thing more balanced meals uh, yeah all good happy days really looking forward to it make it easier for lifting these big chunks up in the spring and summer hopefully right that's it for now I'm going to have my salad and my protein drink and I'll get back to you in a bit like I say it's dark outside now as you can see it's pitch black now just gone five o'clock it's only been dark about a quarter of an hour so nights are getting shorter bit by bit but they're getting there spring's on the way as they say so happy days can't wait for that man I must admit can't wait get them big fish feeding again and a bit of warmth in the old bones and stuff so really looking forward to spring this year obviously summer and autumn as well like but yep that's it right up for some tea I'll speak to you all again later cheers for now well this is a first for me everybody bizarre supper for a winter's night a nice whey protein high protein shake diet of course keep your calories down and for a bit of solids I'm just going to have a little bag of quinoa bites like a little crisp add a bit of something to me protein shake and that's me done for the night hey up oh, there's a beep could be dashing past you in a minute all being well no that seems to be it totally flat calm outside now it's gone really cold but middle of january right so that's it for now if i don't speak to, speak to you during the night i'll see you in the morning bright and early okay if you want tight lines cheers now well good morning me carpy friends nothing to depart i'm afraid on the car front absolutely baltic now proper wet wild cold windy night last night it's absolutely freezing this wind at the moment you see it poured down during the night a few times that's all froze solid on a busy so yeah proper winter carpet sun's, the sun's out but can't feel anything from it like the wind's turned now and it's coming straight in my face so it could be a short trip this one I think I've got a few things to do at home so I might just do this this one night and call it a day and come back in a week and a half's time I haven't seen a thing never heard a fish during the night or anything just totally dead really surprised with the number of fish that are supposed to be in here like really surprised but there's a really cold snap on the way apparently there's uh, snow dew and stuff so that's probably put them down for the time being just got to come when I can that's all can't pick and choose with work and stuff so that's all we can do just come down whenever I can just make the most of the conditions that are
Well, that's the last rod in. My fingers are going to fall off. They're absolutely froze solid. One little tip I always do, still giving tips out, even though it's Baltic. Is always dry your hoop if I put it back in your in your hold all. It stops it going rusty for next time. Well, that's it, everyone. It's a wrap. Oh, that's a bit too bright there, Marshy. Uh, as you saw, no joy this trip, but middle of January, absolutely Baltic cold, so this is how it goes, isn't it? But we'll be back chasing these big carp again, that's for sure. Another week and a half's time, I'll be out on the bank again, try and catch a few fish for you. So that's it for now then. Um, I'll speak to you all again soon. Wish you all the best for 2019. Hope you catch all your big target fish and all that. I've only got one target fish for this year. I've been chasing for the last four years, so hopefully this year could be my year. Just have to wait and see. So, yep, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would, please. And like I say, it's absolutely blinking Baltic. So, I'll speak to you all again soon. Please subscribe, push the bell icon and you get them all the time then. Okay then, cheers for now. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.